Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Toyota's adoption of solid state batteries, and with that being said, let's just hop right into it. So yes, Toyota is officially going to be adopting solid state uh, batteries, and this is uh, pretty interesting. So first off, let's talk about uh, what solid state battery technology actually does. Uh, so first off, compared to lithium ion batteries, solid state batteries have faster charging times, and on top of that, they typically have uh, more range with the, a similar battery pack size. Now, there are some downsides to solid state batteries. The downsides are the cost and then also reliability. In terms of the cost, they are exponentially more expensive than lithium ion batteries. And then in terms of reliability, it seems like uh, they just don't last as long when they are depleted and then charged back up uh, compared to lithium ion batteries. And lithium ion batteries still have their own lifespan, right? Uh, some of you might not have a hybrid vehicle and a lot of you probably don't have electric vehicles even. And so the comparison you can make is just with your uh, cell phone, right? So when you first buy your cell phone, the battery life seems to last for a really long time. And then, you know, something, your cell phone that you use on a daily basis, it constantly gets drained and then charged back up. And you can kind of see the difference over time in terms of how long the battery lasts. Again, brand new cell phone lasts a long time. And then a year from then, it seems like you have like no battery ever and you're constantly having to charge the phone. That's kind of what I'm dealing with with uh, my phone right now. Uh, and so similar thing with cars, right? But it's it's a, on a little bit of a different time scale. Uh, the reason being is you don't use cars as much as you use your cell phone typically, right? Some people might be out there using their cars as much as other people use cell phones, but typically, right, your cell phone, you're gonna be on it. I mean, the average, I, I could look it up, but I'm sure the average person's on their phone at least four to sometimes eight hours a day. It's pretty crazy nowadays. Um, so if people are using it that often, right, then that's why the batteries only last like a year or two years before they really start getting annoying. Whereas with a car, they can last five to 10 years, uh, but it's because you might be driving it only, you might only be using that battery, uh, you know, once a day or a couple times a day and you might be using it for you know 20 to 40 to 60 miles and in terms of like full depletion and then full recharging with uh fully electric cars it takes quite some time right you've got uh, on the low side of things 100 miles of range and on the high side of things 300 400 500 miles range for some evs and so it takes quite some time to fully deplete the battery to fully charge it up so again they get a little bit of a longer lifespan but Going back uh, to how this is going to relate to the solid state batteries, like I said, the reliability with them is not nearly uh, as good as what you have with the lithium ion batteries. And so that's a little bit of a concern. So how Toyota is adopting all of this is they are going to initially put these solid state batteries in their hybrid vehicles first, and then they're gonna put it in their fully electric vehicles if it works out. And I think this is a pretty smart thing and I'll kind of get into that in a little bit. Um, but basically what their plan is is within the next uh, two to three years, they wanna start releasing uh, hybrid models with solid state batteries. And their thought process behind this is, well, it's gonna help out with uh, getting more range because the solid state batteries uh, can, ba they basically have more range. And also it's gonna help out with charging with the hybrids, which is very important for hybrids, especially uh, plug-in hybrids, right? A lot of people kind of uh, rely on faster charge rates with plug-in hybrids because they don't have as much range as a fully electric vehicle, but they uh, try to use the electric component of it as much as possible so they're not having to pay for gas. Um, I, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of plug-in hybrids, right? Because you have the double utility where you can do the fully electric driving and then also you can go on a road trip. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to have range anxiety. And so that's, uh, I think it's a great application that Toyota is going there. And that's kind of why they're going that route is to test it out in that sense, right? Because that's kind of the demographic that worries about fast charge rates kind of more than everyone else. People with fully electric vehicles do too. And then the other thing is there's going to be quicker depletion with a hybrid versus with a fully electric vehicle. Like I said, on the low side of things with fully electric vehicles, they have like 100 miles of range. And on the high side, they have like four or 500 miles of range. Whereas with a hybrid on the low side, they have like two to five miles of range. And then some of them have 30, 40, 50 miles of range. And so you can imagine the uh, smaller battery packs that are being put in these hybrids will get depleted and then recharged on a pretty regular basis, far more often than what you're gonna have with a fully electric vehicle. And so what that means is Toyota is gonna be able to really see if these solid state batteries can stand the test of time or if the reliability is just still not there. And so that's kind of their thought process, right? Is the uh, battery pack will be pushed a massive amount, right? Because it'll be constantly being depleted and recharged. Uh, and so that'll kind of help them determine if it's reliable or not. And then also 
it'll be easier to implement this much more expensive technology in hybrids because they need smaller battery packs compared to fully electric vehicles. And it's, I don't really touch that too much, but it's kind of self-evident, right? You don't need as big of a battery pack in a hybrid as you do in a fully electric uh, vehicle because in a hybrid, only part of it's being um, powered by batteries. Now, in terms of uh, when I think about this uh, whole situation, uh, first off, I think it's great that Toyota is trying this. Um, I think they are probably the manufacturer to try this because Toyota is all about reliability and durability and it's just you know longevity, right, with their cars. And so you know that Toyota is really going to test this technology, and they're not just going to throw it into a vehicle and release it to the market because it's got crazy numbers or some crazy tagline, what some like what some other manufacturers will do. They will really uh, put this through its uh, paces. Uh, but I do have uh, a few concerns. So first off, obviously, is cost, right? Does this mean that uh, Toyota hybrids are going to go up in price exponentially, right? Because again, solid state battery technology is so much more expensive. That is a concern. Toyota says that they're going to try to make it so it's more affordable. And that's why they're trying to implement it on a large scale. Um, but yeah, again, that is a, an obvious concern because the thing about Toyota hybrids is, yeah, there's some stuff like the RAV4 Prime that's pretty crazy from a performance standpoint. But most Toyota hybrids aren't about performance. They're about getting good gas mileage and being affordable. Think Toyota Prius. And so if the price of their hybrids goes up exponentially, then that could hurt them quite a bit. So that's one of my worries, right, is the pricing with it. And then obviously reliability. Like I said, Toyota is all about reliability, and I'm sure they're going to test it a lot. But uh, this could potentially tarnish their name if they don't do enough, enough testing and if they don't wait long enough. Um, it sounds like they want to get this out in some of their hybrids within the next couple of years. I'm not sure if that's enough time to really know if this battery technology is going to last, right? Because most people, when they go in and buy a Toyota, even if they trade in often, they're buying it with the expectation that this thing is going to be able to last for decades and hundreds of thousands of miles. Um, when I was filming today, I saw a uh, Lexus RX 350 that was trading at one of the dealerships, and I uh, they told me that it was the car was crazy, and I was like, "What?" I looked, I walked around, and I was like, "Oh, it looks pretty normal." It had over 200,000 miles on it, and it still looked like brand new, and everything was still running perfect. So again, that just shows you with uh, Toyota reliability and durability. Uh, so. Yeah, I think that they need to be well, obviously be careful uh, with all of that. Uh, but if they can obviously keep the cost down and if it's super reliable, then I think it's completely worth it because, again, having faster charge times and having more range uh, out of hybrids and then eventually electric vehicles is going to help more people adopt them. Uh, in, in, right, the initial push for people will be into hybrids and then fully electric vehicles taking the jump into fully electric is it's quite a bit of a jump um but i mean think if if we can get this to where solid state batteries are more affordable and i think Toyota is the one to do that then we could have electric vehicles that have seven eight maybe nine hundred miles of range which would take away a lot of people's stress with uh, range anxiety and if it has faster charging then again that's another thing that people hate because they're like if i go on a road trip with an electric vehicle and i have to charge every you know 200 to 300 miles and it's going to take 40 minutes to an hour to two hours whatever even if it's fast charging then that kind of kills it for them but if it's like oh we've got this fast charging with this new battery pack that'll make it so that it can get charged in like 10 20 minutes that's still slower than filling up a car with gas but it's so close that it's it, it makes it worth it um so yeah it'll be interesting to see all of that i want you guys to let me know what you think on Toyota adopting this if you think it's worth it or if you think that they should stay you know, with the conventional route with the lithium ion batteries. And I'll see all of you in the next video.